Hey folks, Ivan here. Uh, just wanted to sh post up a short instructional video on how to put some grill mesh in on the front of a Porsche 911. Um, mine's an 09. It's a 997.2. Uh, if you have grills similar to this, you'll be able to put in mesh screening from behind the grill without having to remove the bumper. Uh, first step was to take this guard off. There was a centerpiece and that keeps the grill from uh, mounting flush. So you want to remove those and that pushes out very simply from the back side. Uh, just push it with a little bit of force and the clip should come right on out. Pause. <clears throat> I bought this mesh from Home Depot. Uh, it is actually started off as a gutter protector and it comes in a section that's about three feet long and six inches wide. It costs about two dollars and fifty cents. It's made of aluminum. Uh, and as you can see, what you're going to need is a pair of tin snips, and the material is fairly easy to cut. I'm just going to cut a little sample here just to kind of show you how easy it is to shape this material. And it's got some nice rigidity to, rigidity to it. Plus. The first step uh, I did was I made a cardboard template uh, and uh, just wanted to get the shape. Uh, and it's really the same, you just need to make one template because you can actually flip it around for the other side. So the template right here would go like this and that really gets us the size that we're looking for. Um, I made the template a little bit large because there is some space from behind here, particularly on this side. So you don't need to be super precise when you cut this template because you've got about an eighth of wiggle, eighth inch of wiggle room on the top and the bottom and on the sides, particularly on this side towards the middle, you've got about two inches, I'd say, that you can cut it a little bit larger. But the template gets you off to a good start. I've also scanned this template into a PDF format and posted it on uh, one of the Renlist forums. Uh, you can probably find it pretty easily. So the next thing I did was I spray painted the grills, the aluminum grills, with a Plasti Dip material. What's nice about this material is it's black, it's a matte finish, uh, and it's a rubberized coating available from Home Depot. This is also about five dollars, uh, so this whole project's going to cost me about eight dollars to do. Two dollars and fifty cents for the one piece of aluminum about 550 or so for the Plasti Dip. Uh, this is a great product because it does remain flexible. Uh, it doesn't flake off if it's bent or chipped. Uh, nice product. So I spray painted both sides of this grill with uh, the Plasti Dip. All right, so uh, because you've removed the center style, this, uh, this grill can actually go in right through, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna bring this in And it will require a little bit of fiddling, and even if you bend it a little bit, you can straighten it out down the road. But as you can see right now, by the time this is brought in, you're going to wind up with a nice flush finish here at the end with no gaps. And what you'll do is secure it with a few ties. Uh, I got some zip ties and I'm going to be able to secure these from the corner and bring them in from the back so you won't be able to see them at all. Uh, it's going to leave you with a nice finish. So I've gone ahead and pushed the uh, grill in from the back. As you can see, it's going to get a nice fit fitting here and uh, it's not going to leave any gaps. Uh, what I'm about to do now is get the zip ties that I purchased also from Home Depot. These were about $2.25 uh, $2 or so. I got the 4-inch cable ties. I found them in the electrical department. So here we've got the finished product. Uh, I've put in two zip ties. If you look closely, you're gonna see one right here, and there's another zip tie up in the right-hand corner. And I felt that that's all I really needed to secure it. Um, but here's the finished product. Good luck with it.